Hello, we're going to be doing some coffee. Uh, today, you just said, hey, it's hot, why not do an iced coffee? Which means I get to introduce you to my new tool, my new thing. Um, you know what, we'll do an iced sort of latte thing. How about that? I'll turn my espresso machine back on. Um, we'll do an iced latte thing. Aeropress, you can, you can, you can go back on the shelf. Because I've got, one, one of the things I got for my birthday was, um, well, they're technically whiskey balls. The, the coolie, the, the ice ball things that you stick in the freezer and they're metal so they don't melt and dilute the whiskey. But you can use them, obviously, for other things. And you can do it with an espresso. So why don't we get that all sorted? And then we'll do a cold brew. Um, because it is warm right now, I could do a cold brew. Let's get that sorted and get that going. How about that? Sounds like a plan? I think it sounds like a plan. So, uh, I guess we kind of need to decide which of the coffees we're going to be making. I'll put away the Vietnamese coffee and we'll do that another time. Uh, that's the one that I do in the little fin filter up there. Uh, I got some new coffee while out on Thursday from a place in, I think it's, it must be Swansea. Plandusil. It's got a, pretty sure that's a Swansea postcode. So, <laughs> so uh, there's that one. Um, hold on, let me switch views so you can see. Hey there, just a quick reminder. This is a recording of a stream I did on Twitch. If you like this and want more live content, Come join the chat and the great community over on Twitch. I stream every week, Monday, Friday, and Sundays. Or follow me on my socials for any changes or extra streams. Okay, thanks, and here's the video. So we have the uh, one from Swansea I picked up the other day, and I got two from Monmouth, which I have been trying out. Um, so we could try one of those. Which one would you like? Uh, those two are actually open already, this one isn't. So while you um, throw, just just say whether it's uh, the, I'm gonna say mustard colored one on the left, the orange one or the blue one. Uh, to give you a little bit of information, the mustard one is, I uh, think like Cumbre, and it's medium. This one is, I think it's Santa Catalina from Guatemala. The other one was from Colombia. Uh, that's a medium dark. And this one is from South Wales. And I don't get much more information on it. Colombian and Nicaraguan beans, so it's a bit of a mix. Velvety smoothness, sweet caramel body and soft fruity acidity. Um, this is a medium strength, they say. However, looking at the beans, it's actually probably near a medium dark for what we know as the, uh, you know, because people tend to do them a bit darker than usual. Um, they tend to roast beans darker than they should. So uh, while I go prep for the cold brew, why don't you guys pick which one we're going to do an espresso on? Shout it out in chat. Right, Oop, spare GoPro just in case. What I need to do is get like another one of these cameras or maybe this small GoPro, because these small GoPros, the GoPro 3 Plus, don't overheat by the looks of things. Um, a poll has been put up. 
Cool. Okay. Um, right. Well, I can't do much while we do that. I'm not going to get the ice ball out of the freezer yet because that would be way too soon. Uh, got my milk. Coffee machine is lovely and warm. So with the cold brew, uh, I'll have to pick one of these to use. Although I've got a bit of the old Ethiopian we probably should finish off. So I might do that one with it. Do a bit of a blend. Yeah, I got the bag ready. Good. Make sure I cleaned it. Morning, Para. How are we doing? How are you doing on this fine, sunny Sunday? Hope you've had a nice weekend. Um, oh, why? Who's voted for one each? Also, why have you stuck it for like a thousand hours long? All right. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes. I've got to wait five minutes for a coffee. Ah. Why did you do this to me? Why? I think we all just picked a different colour. Very productive weekend. Need to do more, but I want to sleep. I mean, take that time to rest. It's not the end of the world if you don't. Um, don't do it, run, and don't rest. It is the end of the world if you don't rest. You need to rest. <laughs> right. Uh, well. Uh, manage poll. End poll. Because you're all trolls. It's, it's one each. And I'm going to pick... Um, I'm going to pick... Mustard. We're going to put this one away. We'll have that another time. It's not opened yet, it's fine. We're gonna do mustard. I might use the cold brew for that one. So there we go. So, um, big pot of water needs to get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> Yay, that's the one you picked. Okay, so, the standard um, espresso. Uh, technically a double espresso because I'm doing about 20 grams of coffee for 40-ish mils out. So we'll weigh out 20 grams. You know what we did yesterday? We saw Barbie. Barbie. The Barbie movie. It's extremely good. Probably best film of the year, if not in a long time. Um, there's very little I can criticize about it. There are some criticisms, but there's very little to criticize and it's funny it's self-aware it's uh social commentary it's all these things it doesn't take itself too seriously it's like a mix of um toy story with lego movie with um someone described it as black panther-esque because of the the actual subplot of it all uh <laughs> It's got some cameos in it you just don't expect. It's it's funny. It's great. Um, no wonder it's kind of surpassed all of the... Uh, <laughs> it's broken all the records for what the type of movie it is. Anyway, let's get grinding. Hopefully, with this mic, you can hear me better over the grinding. But we'll see. You really... Everyone needs to see Barbie. Yes. 100%. It's... It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It included some some cameos of just people like what? How did that get in there? It included um, Cochrane Ken. I think that's not his official name. Sparkling something Ken, isn't it? Magic earring. That was it. Yeah. Earring Magic Ken, that was it. That was it. It did include him. Um, 
it's it's it breaks the fourth wall, but in a very very well done way. It's seriously very little criticism. Uh, the ending is a bit odd right at the end. Not the like the actual ending, but like leading up to the ending. It's that's the only bit I think I would criticize. Uh, right, I'm gonna stick a paper filter in this because that's what I do know of my espressos. Get everything ready. Oh, that's good, that one. Researchers looked into what was popular at the time and thought the one earring guys at the disco with the big metal ring necklaces. Yes, people had one earrings and, and whatnot. It has some great digs at um, other media, and it and it does, and it knows it takes it doesn't take itself too seriously. It, it like the whole criticism of how Barbie doesn't look like a typical woman and all that stuff all gets addressed and all that stuff. It's 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 a fantastic movie all around. It's got a Monty Python reference in it. It's got a 2001 Space Odyssey reference in it. Great. <laughs> Turns out that they didn't realise the trend they were researching was from gay clubs. Uh, yes. Well, which ear did he wear it in? Because that was how you to uh, could tell, right? <laughs> right, we're just going to tamp this down. Nice and flat, I'll just show you that. So nice and flat and level. It's a good thing about this tamper is it has a little like lip on it, so it's always level. And then I put my little puck screen on top. You don't need a puck screen, you don't even need the um, paper filter. They just sort of help distribute the water a bit better. Um, oh, I need to do a little cooling flush first. Um, and then we went to Pizza Hut. Um, Pizza Hut is expensive and uh, apparently going out of business in the UK. But then again, it is stupidly it's expensive. It costs them something like 50p to make a pizza and they charge, what, 30 quid? <laughs> right, right while well, that warms back up, I'm just gonna go get my, my uh, ice ball. Oh, it's gold. So, these are whiskey, uh, metal whiskey balls, stick in the freezer, they got like a liquid inside, and they stay nice and cold. Um, I'm just going to stick that in there, and we'll pour the espresso on top. I would, like, do it directly on the ice, if I had a big enough, like, vessel for it, which I do not. Right, can you see that? I think you can. This is very wonky. Oh, silly me. There we go. Right, let's get that going. Oh, that's looking like a good one. Flow's about right. Maybe, no, that's about right. The overall, since from the point I lift the lever to the point I stop, which is about there. Um, it was a little bit quick, just a teeny bit quick, uh, which is gonna be an interesting uh, taste. Yeah, apparently, apparently they're, they're running at incredible losses right now. Pizza never got into business in the Netherlands. I mean, they're owned by, um, is P Pizza Hut's owned by Pepsi. So they won't go out of business. There's no chance in hell they'll actually go out of business, but the restaurants are losing a lot of money right now, apparently. 
an off pizza a while back. I mean, it's just, it's, it's actually a strange type of pizza. It's nothing like any other pizza around. Right. So we've got a little metal ball in there. I'm just going to pour the hot coffee on top of that metal ball to instantly cool it. There we go. I'm actually going to give it a little bit of uh, cold water and rinse this out. Just to get the last remnants out. Don't need to do this. There we are. And then I have some nice uh, milk here that I'm just going to pour in. And there we go. It's what you would call an iced latte, even though it's got no froth or whatnot. Um, we could froth it up. We could give it a little bit of frothing. Um, let's give it. Let's give it a go. Let's see if this works. Nice little hand froth thing here. There we go. Look at that. There you have it. Oh God, what happened here? Oh, we got raided. <laughs> oh, let me go back to chat. Hello everyone. Ollie, hello again. How are we doing? Thank you for bringing those lovely people over. How is it? How is everyone on this uh, very warm, sunny UK Sunday morning? Afternoon, it's afternoon now. <laughs> how are we all doing? Raid, yes. We got Domino's and New York Pizza, which I think is their equivalent. Um, we have Domino's here as well, but yeah, Pizza Hut is, uh, oh, but Pepsi. But yes, yeah, so I just made a uh, iced latte, trying out my new, um, I have a, uh, what would you call it? A whiskey ball thing you stick in the freezer. So I just poured the espresso shot over that to cool it instantly and and there's some milk and oh yes, that's very nice. Very nice. But yes, how are we doing? What were you doing? You were doing oxygen not included. Oh, I love a little bit of oxygen not included. We need to play that again, guys. We need to we need to do that again. Um, pretty good. We decided to uh, decontaminate the water supply by heat. Oh no, no Ollie, no, no. Oh. This led, I mean, I know, I don't even have to read the rest of the sentence. This, because, 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 okay, I'm not going to read the rest of the sentence, but um, let me guess, uh, you, you, you got it to a good level where the germs started to die, and you're like, oh, that's great, and then um, the heat kind of started to leave the water, um, which is not great, and then, um, well, as it happened for me, for the next 30 hours, the rest of the colony was just melting, because you basically created a massive heat generation source in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes, I made that mistake. Um, <laughs> I mean, it got rid of the germs. <laughs> we had very, very clean water. <laughs> and it's all because one of my guys peed in the water. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, flashbacks. There's definitely some clips of that. Uh, <laughs> I really hope it cools down. Um, I had to, eventually had to pipe out the water. Um, I found like a really cold area and I piped out the water all the way down there and like sent it around and then piped it all the way back. <laughs> After like 30 hours and all my crops dying of overheating and all that stuff. <laughs> oh. I I have a large food reserve. Oh, you're lucky. Oh no, I, I was fighting for, I was fighting that for like 30 odd hours after I did it. I did it in like the first four hours or like five hours. We like, I, I was like, oh, I need to get rid of the germs. So I um, did the research straight for the heater thing. Um, and that was a mistake. I'd rather them just get ill.
<laughs> you did the opposite. Oh, did you pipe your water to the to the to the hot area? <laughs> no, I just stuck one of the heaters in the water and just left it running. <laughs> and then and then it gets to like sixty degrees, and you're like, oh, this is great temperature. You know, it's nice and warm for their showers and stuff. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> Because um, oxygen not included does uh, thermal conductivity very well, like simulates uh, the thermal conductivity very well. It's, it's, it's good, it's good. It's a good game. And we could look with that one. <laughs> I'm just getting PTSD from that time I did it. <laughs> How's the coffee stream going? It's going well. Anyway, I should probably introduce myself to anyone who's not been here before. My name is Paul. Um, on Sundays we do coffee and then we build some Lego. So I have just made an iced latte thing. I have an espresso machine in my room right here. I have various other coffee making devices up here. Um, I even have a Wi-Fi enabled coffee machine right here, which we rarely use. Uh, it's, it's one of those mass drip, mass producing, pour a drip over things. Um, yeah. We're currently doing, uh, like I say, a nice latte, but we're going to be doing a cold brew very shortly. We're going to start making cold brew. Now, cold brew takes about 24 to 36 hours, so it's going to be very hot in the UK over the next week. Get a cold brew, add some ice to it when it's ready, and you've got a very nice cold coffee. But it's currently 22 degrees in where I live. Come on, come on, Google. Hey, hey, Google. Google's died, um, so it can't tell me. It's clearly too hot. <laughs> Is my phone going to tell me? Oh, it's only 20 degrees according to my phone. Oh, that's not so bad. Uh, 36 hour stream incoming, no. <laughs> I'll give you an update on tomorrow night's stream. Um, so tomorrow night, um, and every Monday for probably the foreseeable future, we're doing some Baldur's Gate 3. I started it last week. I have not actually played D&D myself or any of the previous games um, or related games to Baldur's Gate. However, I have watched a lot of D&D. So, as you can imagine, I'm an expert in all this and making no mistakes. Not a single person died, and we definitely didn't cut someone's hand off by mistake. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> More of that tomorrow night at half six UK time. <laughs> and then on Fridays, um, well this Friday, we're starting Starfield. So, uh, yes, that'll probably be going for quite a few uh, streams, won't it? Yes. It's only 18.7 in your room. Well, you're downstairs and technically underground, so bleh. Right. Let's get this cold brew on the go, shall we? But yes, thank you for the um, the raid, Ollie. And if you need to go D-stream, please go do that. If you don't mind sticking a lurk on anyone who is around, please do. Much appreciated. Uh, we will be building some Lego. I'm building the Millennium Falcon. I'm not going to pick it up again because that's dangerous. Um, we're building the Lego Millennium Falcon, the big Ultimate Collector Series one. We're about the third of the way through. So we'll probably be doing about an hour's worth of Lego after I get my coffee sorted. So, uh, I want to... Just check something quickly. Right. So cold brew is, as the name suggests, done with cold water. And by cold water, I mean room temperature water. You don't put it in the fridge. You don't have chilled water because it won't extract as well. Uh, it's room temperature. You leave it out of room temperature until it's done. And then you can stick it in the fridge once you've like removed the bag and all the stuff and done your filtering and whatever you want to do um, and then you add ice so there's two ways of doing cold brew uh, no there's not Paul um, what I meant to say there was there's two end results you can have from cold brew and that's like a finished cold brew which you can just pour and drink or there's a concentrate uh, if you're going to do the finished product usually you do it for about 24 hours so you'd stick your coffee in a uh, what I've got is like a what is it a cheese 
cloth bag thing. Um, there's also various cold brew devices you can do it in. Uh, it's just a filter of some sort, some sort of filter media. You just submerge that in the water, leave it for 24 hours, maybe agitate it every now and then, and then um, take it out and you can drink that straight. You don't have to like dilute it in any way. You can if you want. Um, I tend to add some milk to mine anyway. But there we go. Cheese, cheese, muslin, yes, the muslin stuff. The, it's called cheesecloth, right? I'm not, I'm not making that up. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you leave it for 36 hours, you end it, or, or more, you can leave it for more if you want, um, you get a concentrate. And then you would usually dilute that, maybe one to one with just normal cold water and put that over ice, add some milk, add whatever you want. You've got a nice iced coffee sort of thing, but iced ice coffee and cold brew are different. Iced coffee is you apply it over ice almost instantly, like I just did with this one, because I've got a little ice ball in here. I'm drinking that way too quick. We're going to have to make another one, aren't we? Right. Oop. Um, what do I need to do? I actually don't know how much water I've poured out of that, but it doesn't matter. Let me, let me get the camera in place and switch scenes. So there's a lot of recipes for cold brew and it's all kind of your preference because there isn't really, I haven't found a perfected one yet. Some say um, it's like one part coffee to uh, like eight parts um, water. So if I put 100 grams of coffee out of 800 mils of water, um, some go as high as like 12 or maybe even 15. Uh, some go as low as five. I I don't know, I, t I tend to go sort of middle-ish. I might go for the one to eight today. We might give that a go. Um, right, before I do that, I need to get my actual coffee that I'm going to be grinding. Now, it needs to be coarse-ish. Not too coarse, but not... I, I would say what you would do a... Maybe a bit coarser than a French press. Again, I'm still, every time I do this, I do it slightly differently, so I'm still learning. It's all new to me. We need to cross over those two games, Starfield and Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Stargate. Oh, yes. <laughs> Probably end up with Baldur's Field. It's just outside Baldur's Gate. It's a nice, calm place. <laughs> Everyone's saying that Baldur's Gate has like ruined their perception of um, uh, RPGs now because it was done so well. Uh, that's the last of my Ethiopia. Uh, that's 20 grams in there. I think I'm going to do about maybe 100. I can only grind about 70 at max. I'm going to do about 50 each time. There we go. We'll get that grinding and then I'll measure out the next lot. Hopefully I've got enough. So you know what, I'll wait for the grinders to finish. Wow, it's taking its time. So um, I will be making it in that big blue jug I've got on there. Uh, but when I've finished, I then pour it into one of these, uh, which has like a lid and a spout and that goes in the, um, in the fridge 
and the fridge door. Uh, and I also, uh, what I do is I tend to take the bag out, give it a bit of a squeeze, get all the coffee out that I can. And then I will run what's in here through another filter of some sort, maybe my metal filter or maybe a, a um, paper filter in the AeroPress or something like that, because uh, this bag tends to allow through quite a few like fine pieces of coffee, which isn't isn't great, but hey, we can get around that with other filters. It may be the bag is getting a bit old. I don't really know. Um, right, let's stick you on there. Come on, come on. This always this should fit. This should fit. I only do that so I can just pour it in without worrying. There we go. That's some nice 50 grams of fairly coarse coffee. Let's go again. Great success. Use up all of this by the looks of it. Oh, nearly. Another 50 odd grams. Don't have to be too precise with this one. And we grind again. Joe! Good morning, cheese bags. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. There we go. You can see the ball in there. It's actually still quite cold. Um, so that's the first time actually using the ball. And what I'm finding is... Uh, it's more of a slow chill rather than an instant chill, like you would get with a maybe a, um, uh, an ice ball of the same size, because the ice ball would melt and, and have greater surface area at that point. Because the surface area is constant, I think it's just like a slow chill. So these balls might be better for cold brews and things that are cold initially anyway, hence they're being whiskey balls because they'll go from room temperature rather than taking something hot, like an espresso shot or something from the... My jug fell over. Uh, something from like the uh, AeroPress or something um, and trying to flash cool it, flash freeze it sort of thing. Um, so I may not use these for the hot stuff anymore and might just keep them for the cold stuff because it won't dilute. Um, but for hot things, I think we need actual ice. I can't stay long, but I did uh, want to pop in and say something nice, like good morning cheese bags. Absolutely nailed it. Nailed it. Well done. Well done. Thank you for stopping by, Joe. Um, if you do need to pop off, then, then do so. Um, I hope you're having a good weekend. And I'm sure I'll see you about Come back tomorrow for more chaos in Baldur's Gate. Right. Damn Baldur and his gated community. I say Baldur, um, Sam says Balder. Which one is it? Hmm? Balder? 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 I just say Balder because it sounds better to me. I mean, it, um, Balder's the, a god of something or other, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, can you see the... Oh, just about. Let me, let me turn that a bit more. There we go. So we've got, uh, 100 grams of coffee in there right now. Coarse coffee. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wet it a little bit initially because water doesn't penetrate the bag that quickly so we get a little bit of like air bubbles so what I'm going to do is add in how much is in there Ooh. you know what I'll add in a lot and then we'll close up the bag Tie a little knot, wrap it around the top a bit, seal off. So no coffee escapes, because I don't want to have to double filter this. I mean, what you could do is you could literally just put the grinds in cold water and then filter it later. You could do that. Uh, this is just a very easier way of like cleaning it out because you don't have to then properly filter it out fully afterwards. Uh, maybe I should do that one time. All right, well, we're on 540. Right, so that's 800 mils. Doesn't seem like a lot to me. For 100 grams. So I'm going to go over that. I'm going to do probably nearer the 1 to 12. Sort of. What's, what's my... What can I hold in this jug? I can never remember. 1.5 millilitres. Okay, so I'm going to go up to a bit more. Oh, I might as well just stick the whole jug in. There we go. Just over 1.2 litres. 400 grams. That's probably going to be quite weak, so I'm going to leave this one a lot longer. So what time is it now? 1 p.m. on Sunday, so this will be ready. So 24 hours would be tomorrow lunchtime. Uh, it would technically be a concentrate tomorrow night, tomorrow evening. Um, actually, you know, probably about one o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So give it two days by Tuesday lunchtime. That'll be 48 hours because it's got, I've put in a little bit less. We want it to little, sleep a little bit longer. That'll be that'll be fine. It's one of Odin's sons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balder. Yeah, but is it Balder or Balder? I was I say I say Balder. So we're just gonna stick a top on that. Um in fact no, I'm going to give it a little bit of a poke and a agitation. Just to get all of those nice and soaked and nice lots of room in there for water to mix. And what not. And we're just going to leave that somewhere here. Like so. And there we are. And that's cold brew for you. Either. It's not an English name. It's translated from Munich. Fair enough. Fair enough. Don't need to know any more than that. Alright. That's coffee time over. I might make a cup of coffee in the middle of um, Lego because I'm running a little low. But that's coffee time over for now. Thank you for watching.